From the school there. Well, I'll, I'll go and see the prince by giving a call. Okay, that's better. Thank you, Daddy. That's why I love you. You're welcome. Yeah. 
Hello, Chief. L listen, listen. I know you're talking about your daughter, Omolola, isn't it? See, Omolola Adeoti is a very notorious girl. Your wife has been here, and I told her everything that happened. She will tell you exactly what I told her. Oh, Chief, Chief. Listen, this is not all about money. I see. How much do you think you can give me to buy my position on this? I told you this is the management's decision. It's not mine. Chief, you, you are just stepping on my toes now. Please, stop it. Uh, all right, all right. All right, Chief, please, if you don't mind, I have some works I want to do now. Uh, I will talk to you later, okay? Thank you. Ha-ha! Uh -uh. uh -uh. uh -uh. What is that? You can't believe this. That man just called the principal now to bribe me for a daughter's sake. What father are you talking about? Omolola's father, of course. Are you sure of what yes, you're saying? Yes, I am him. Call him principal. <sighs> Mr. Mendy, but you left the staff room not quite long. Yes. How did you get to know all this? That Omalola's dad called the school principal. I oh. was hearing them on phone. Oh. I was there when the man called the principal. And he was talking, and the principal even specifically mentioned Omalola and the and who else would you have been talking to it, if not the chief, of course? Then I'm not surprised. Charity, it is said, begins at home. She must have got her idea from her father. There is one thing you people don't know. The school management will just punish that girl and forget about the whole thing. I now understand that you people don't know the power of influence and authority. I suggest we should report this matter to the police because her father's thoughts have been threatening us. In fact, I have been attacked twice. You have been attacked twice? Yes. Well, uh, Yes, sir. I think I, I understand you clearly. But you see, this girl is not the only person that is involved in this matter. All right? So why her father's thugs will be harassing everybody around here is what I don't understand. But nevertheless, uh, I will take the matter up with the police. Okay. Fortunately, I called the DPO some minutes back. I don't know on that matter, but now that you have mentioned it, I will mention it to him too. Okay. I will see what we can do about it. All right, sir. But nevertheless, this decision is the management's decision. Not the VP's decision and not the principal's decision. It is the whole management. So put your mind at rest. All right, sir. All right? Thank you, sir. We'll work on it. All right, sir. Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. How was your weekend? Fine, sir. Yes, welcome to another week. This week is going to be very busy. As you know, we are moving very close to your next examination. There is a piece of information here before you go into your classes this morning. Last week, this school was represented in an inter-school debate which was held at Ijebu Ode 
we were represented by two students who did us proud. And so this morning we want to recognize them. Ogunwale Samson. Clap for him very well. And um, Akinwale Funke. The two of them represented this school and they did well. At the final computation of the result, they came second overall. So after leaving the assembly hall this morning, the two of them will report in my office to receive their personal award and the general one for the school. Clap for them once again. Come go back to your places. I'm happy with you. Well done. Yes, as we have the good ones representing us and doing us proud, so also we have some bad eggs. Kolawale Mudukwe. You all know that this school is recognized for high standard of discipline. We don't condone any indiscipline in this school. This girl here is supposed to be a boarding student. And you all know that if you want to leave the boarding house, you must take a permission from the housemaster. This one jumped over the fence. to join students from other schools and she was caught at a party in town. But because we looked into our records and she has not been caught in that act before. So we're going to warn her with this. She will go home and bring her parents and then she will proceed on four weeks suspension. When we leave the assembly, you report in my office to collect your letter of suspension. Go back to your place. That will serve as deterrent for others who want to join her group. This last group, the worst of all. You all know that this school is noted for zero tolerance for exam practices and immorality. Adeoti Omolola. I know it will be you. I know. <laughs> and Obi na Victor. See. You are already notorious, and even the students know you. Will you stop that nonsense? These ones who are caught cheating in the examination organized by the state government two weeks ago, and they disgraced the good name of our school. Not that alone. The two of them were caught doing some illegal meeting at a secluded place within the school premises. Therefore, before they begin to affect other students with their characters, we want to separate them. So the school management has decided to send them on total expulsion. We have sent for their parents and this information will be passed across to their parents. And from today on, they cease to be students in this school. After leaving the assembly, you come to my office to receive your letters of expulsion. Bye-bye. So students, I know you are diligent and you continue to be diligent.
Yeah. Okay, so guys, you know, I have been telling you, the two of you, I've been telling you, I am the queen of rock masters on this campus. Really? And so if you want to work with me, you need to learn fast. Oh, wow. Be sharp. Mm -hmm. eh? You know, you, I've been telling you, I have been telling you, you need to touch up your dressing room. You need to change the way you dress. You dress like a church girl. Come Please on! Forget that. Please forget all this one though. You my uncle is here now. You don't want him to know our car. Ah, okay. Oh, now I get. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Bad girl! So you're yeah, using to deceive them. Forget it. Ah, now for you. For you. You. The challenge I have with you is that you still come to school from home. Can't you tell me you want to live on campus? You know I've been trying to convince her. Then you have, you have to try harder. You have not tried enough. You know there's this level of freedom you have when you are in school. I understand. You know what me will tell you? You are wearing one clothes, you are going, Hey, come, come, come here. That clothes is not good. Go and change, go and change. They, they will just be controlling your life. You better do something about yourself. I understand. And, ah. I will try. Hmm. Try harder. I'll try. Oh. Lolly, ah. lolly, you know, lolly, you can't say lolly, that again. Lolly, lolly. Don't worry, just keep saying it. That is the lady. Yes. <laughs> She's in pepper today. Today, she will see her fire. Hello. Yes. Oh my Lola. Lola, why are you putting on more? You Lola. Husband snatcher. Oh. Okay. What's the matter? So, you are just like this. You are no more than this. Sorry, I don't understand what you're talking about. You need to keep quiet. It? You don't talk when I'm talking. Look, 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 look. You took her husband. Are you not afraid of her? Look at Can you just compare yourself with her? See? So, you took my friend's husband. Did you do this? this small? You, you wait. Oh, excuse me. Who do you think you're talking to? Hello. Stop. Are you talking? Let's be the hell out of her. Did you? Did you? Did you? Baby girl, you've not told me your name, your department, and what made your friend beat you like that? Well, you haven't told me your name too and what you do. Oh, I'm sorry, pardon me. My name is uh, Thompson Wilson. I lecture in the department of history in this school. Wow, that's nice. You are beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Question. We came to your hostel yesterday. Uh -huh. You were not around. Oh, that's <laughs> sorry. I didn't know oh, you yeah, came. Office, you know what happened? Mm -hmm. Hey, do you know that Linda in 300 level? Mm -hmm. That's how the girl came and brought some guys to come and beat me up. Really? Oh, um, they beat me. Oh. Ask her what I did though. She said I was that I, I'm, I'm dating one, or maybe I, I should say I was dating one with Raf. I said me to that <laughs> guy. Is that guy that's run after me? I don't even have time for him. That guy. In fact, so you were beating me. Yeah. Yeah. Linda joined them and she beat. These people beat me. But you know what? That's how God came with his one dance. And my prince charming showed up. So dark and handsome. And he delivered me from their hands. <laughs> Omo, right now, I can't even remember any beating. You know what? He took me. And he took me to his house. He changed my clothes. And then... 
The rest is history. Yes, <laughs> yes Lola. <laughs> you will yeah. never change. No, no, no. This, this is the best part of the gist. The guy now happens to be a lecturer hey. in, in this school. Mm -hmm. This same school? Jack. Yes. A lecturer. So, babes, let me tell you. I am no longer in your level. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to address me from today, you address me as Lola Mama. Lola Mama. Thank you. The Lola same Lola queen. Hey. Hey. That is it. So, so, please, 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 please. Just mind the way you talk to me from today. Okay? Because there's no nonsense. I'm, I've gone to the next level. Ah, hmm? Lola, I won't go there for life. Oh, Wait. thank you, baby. <laughs> Tell me the secret. Oh, it's Grace. Grace. <laughs> Oh, oh, yes. Hallelujah, yeah. sister. Oh, I'm Alola. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How's everything? I'm good. But why did you do that? Huh? With all my promises and everything that I told you. Why? I, I didn't. I didn't trust you because I didn't know you really meant it to marry me. I, I didn't have any choice. Let me tell you something. No woman has ever got pregnant for her, and I promised myself that the first to get pregnant would be my wife. So, you mean you really want to marry me? Of course, yes. But now that you have evacuated it. No, 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 no. Please don't think that way. You know, let's start the process all over again. I promise you, this time I'm going to cooperate. You really disappointed me, but let's give it a try. I'm sorry. No problem. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's please. about to rain. Okay. Let's Shall, go. So, Marilla. Yeah. When is the camp opening? Um, 14th of this month. That's uh, next week Wednesday. That's nice. But it's unfortunate. You won't be around for my wedding. <laughs> we already talked about this. We said we should do it after my NYC. So we can be together. Eh? What did you just say? You don't understand what I'm saying. I mean, I'm getting married in three weeks' time. <laughs> please, come on, stop all this nonsense and let's, let's plan my trip to Tarabo State, please. Well, if you care to know, this part of my highway, you can check it out. Wilson, you can't do it. No, this is. Um, Wilson, no, tell me this is not true, right? <laughs> you just like to do some funny things. I'm not funny here. I'm serious. You're getting married? Yes. No, what? no, you can't, you can't do this to me. We already talked about this. I can't forfeit my NYC. Please, please. We'll see. No, 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 you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't possibly do this. This is not real. Tell me it's not real, right? It's not real. Listen, no, Malola. There won't be need for any, for fitting your NYC. My baby's already six weeks pregnant. So she's coming home. I'm serious.
Hello, friend. How are you doing? I've been noticing you for the past one week. You don't talk to anybody. You are always sad and moody. What's the problem? Can you share with me, please? Maybe I can be of help. Okay. My name is Remy. Remy Lepe. And yours? Omolola. Okay, Omolola. I noticed you need help. You are always sad and moody. What's the problem? I wish I could get power. Raw power. From, from witchcraft, from herbalist, from, from wizard, from anywhere. Power. What for? I need to kill someone. I need to kill a man who broke my heart. I see. He offended you. Right? You want to get back at him? Yes. And I want to do it on his God-forsaken wedding day. Thank God you have shared your problem with the right person. Um, I'm going to help you out. Are you serious? Yeah. You're going to help me? Yeah. Thank you, Remy. Thank you very much. Thank you. But one thing. Please, don't discuss this with any other person. Of course, I don't have to discuss with anyone. What's my business with anybody? Are you sure? No, I won't. Okay. Um, what are we talking about? Please, let's go. Follow me and you'll be happy for life. I'm telling you, let's go. Are you serious? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sister Lola. <laughs> Save yourself these tears and confess with your mouth. He's faithful to forgive you all your ugly, dirty pasts and <laughs> write the story of your life for you. Hmm? See, you can only show evidently to God that you are sorry about your past when you forgive those that hurt you. And He will also forgive you. Huh? I can't. I can't. Sister Lola, stop crying. Stop crying. Come on, Lola. Can you tell me why you are crying profusely like this? <laughs> honestly. Honestly, I wish I could just. I should just. I should just revenge on everyone who did me. Sister Lola. <laughs> If you don't forgive those that hurt you, it means you are not ready to give your life to Jesus. Even if you are, God will neither forgive nor, nor correct all your ugly past. But God is able to forgive you if you are able to forgive those who have offended you. You said you will help me. Yeah, I'm helping you. In fact, this is the best help you need for now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sister Lola, if you give your life to Jesus, He will rewrite your story and give you a new beginning. <laughs> Are you ready to give your life to Jesus now? Wow. All right, Sister Lola. Just uh, let's pray together. Say with your own mouth, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. So I continue in faith. Faith in spirit. Serving the Lord for years. Before I met Olaleko, we were married for some years, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. We've prayed several, thinking 
it was a test of faith. But just yesterday. As we speak, she's already dying. Doctor K, why did I bring her to you in the first place? Isn't that you could rescue her? Well, her womb has been severely damaged. So, Doctor K, help me. Help me. What can we do now? For your information, the tests carried on her okay. shows that she started the business of um, abortion right from a very, very youthful age. <sighs> In fact, as at four months ago, she had aborted six times. As such, it has affected her womb seriously. That was why when she received that beating, she started bleeding. So what can we do now, doctor? Please help me. What can we do? Well, there are two things that can be done about it. Okay. The first one is to stop the bleeding by removing the womb. Or we will need to suture the womb so as to stop the bleeding. Doctor, let us do the second option. Don't let us remove our womb. But it, it, either way, both have their effect. The same effect. What effect again? The fact is that she will never conceive again. I mean, she will never get pregnant again all her life. What? Although. At least she will enjoy her life, as at least her sex life throughout the, throughout her throughout any time she wants. <sighs> that is just it. <sighs> oh my God! And she didn't even tell me this all this while. And we were busy praying, fasting, and trusting God together. You know, you know it's your thing. It's a seriousness after useless. Oh my God. Although she was not aware of the damage, I have to stylishly jitter. That's what I did. Ha! Ah, please, please tell me this did not happen. Tell me it's a dream. Tell me that it's not real but a trance. What? This is real. It was your quack doctors that have not told you the truth so far. Stop dreaming. He's returned home last night. Open up my half-healed wound. 
it was beating all through the night till he eventually pushed me out this morning. Sister, this is serious. Very serious, ma. But I know Alaleko. He's a very good, loving and understanding husband. It was all my fault. It is me that my useless and reckless past catches up with my present. Living it with a cloudy future. Down. Calm down, my friend. I've told you that it is so. Let her talk. Let her talk. Mm. My sister, you don't need to cry. Mm? That is why we are warned seriously. Never to embark on an adventure that can truncate our life and destinies. Everyone has past errors and experiences to tell, including me. Oh, 
Let him face the fire. He needs to laugh. I command you that evil spirit. Get that one out of him in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Ah. What happened? Ah. What is the matter? I'm sorry. I'm there sorry. There is a matter. You didn't offend me. What happened? He did. 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 Like Pharaoh. Yeah. And we will not let him breathe away. Well. In fact, judgment will start from the house of God. Yeah. Um, Lily. Yes, Daddy. Leave him yeah. alone. You may have some confession to make. <gasps> yes, I actually have a confession to make. Yes, confession and even restitution to make. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the office and listen to the confession. Go back to the office. Holy Spirit, you are wonderful. I was about saying it for you. Eh? Hey. What, 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 what is it, sir? Because I just come to take permission to tell you that someone needs our prayer very urgently. Well, maybe the Holy Spirit does not want you to go there. Because the Spirit of the Lord told me that I should call you so that we can pray together for at least two hours before we go home. Ah, Daddy. <laughs> Uh, the Spirit of God is one. It's still, it's still the same thing, sir. Uh, because I, I needed to be there. Right now. I, 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 I just, the Holy Spirit just placed it in my heart to call that man. And he told me that his child is dying. Is that so? Y yes, Daddy. Maybe that is what the Holy Spirit is trying to show me. He's the man that I remember. Uh, not really, sir. Not really. Because I want us to go together. Ah, that, uh, that may not be necessary. Uh, I think what we can do is this. Let me quickly go there. Then I'll come back to join you, sir. Sorry, Daddy. Sorry, sir. Oh, my God. Well, uh, God knows better. You can go. Ah, thank you, Daddy. Tiki Bamdili. I'm not comfortable with this arrangement at all. Asausa, you are not comfortable with me marrying that sister? Mm, not really, because the space is too cloudy. And I don't receive any uh, lady. So I don't think I can go ahead with the joining if the Lord did not instruct me to do so. Ah, but. Daddy, you know that my ministry needs a woman right now. But for how long do you want me to wait, sir? For how long? Have you forgotten some revelations and dreams that I told you about this issue? Even the sister in question told you some revelations and divine confirmations as touching this, sir. Well, I did not see or hear anything about this matter. And you are too much precious to me and the ministry to fall into the short pit of a woman like this. What do what you want me to do, sir? Yes, I think I uh, should cancel the wedding and pray the more. I'll face another date later. <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> that one cannot be possible, sir. Ah! Kasu, the wedding, my family and our family can never accept that. They even told me that we shall do traditional and court wedding only. Is that so? Yeah, yes, daddy.
Mm. When all glory be to God, sir. Uh, even if my boss came, the exploit might be greater than this. Woo. Because it is the same God that is working in all his ministers. Yes. Yes. You are right. Uh, please, we would like to have you again. Probably during a company revival. That's coming up in the next two months. Two months' time? Yes. I think my boss will be available by then. No, okay. no, sir. No, sir. Uh, it's you we want. Yes. <laughs> ah. No, you. Well, uh, you have to discuss with him. Oh. Because you are, I'm a man under his authority. Oh. I can't do anything without his instruction. You're right. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you for coming. Thank you, sir. Really bless God. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Still drive? Bye. He is a firebrand minister. Indeed, indeed. His boss told me a lot about him. Really? That he has great plan for him. What kind of plan, sir? He is the next hero of the mission. Yes, it's true. His boss told me this and confirmed it. He even documented it. Though not yet open to other ministers in the mission. So, Dicky Bamidele is the next Jew? Yes. Eh? Yes. Oh, that's very great. In fact, oh. God is wonderful. I thank God for his life. Oh. Thank God for him. <laughs> I can't believe this. Huh. You mean that Daddy wants to impose Bamedele on us? Huh. I, I, I tell you. You see, I, I feel for you and others that started this ministry with, with him. I feel for you. Ah! Bamedele? Is it not the same Bamedele that gave his life to Jesus? <laughs> when we went for our church crusade at Igbo, I can't even remember the name of the place. Your outreaches. Hey. <laughs> mm. Hey. You see? Uh, well, uh, let me just tell you. To me, the way I see it is that, simply put, you have just labored for another person to reap. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Pastor. <laughs> You know what? We shall see. We shall see. Uh, man of God, just take it easy. Eh? Just take it easy. <laughs> I'm taking it easy. I'm taking okay, it easy. Let me be on my way. Thank you very see much. You Thank time. you. <laughs> Bless my brother. Ah, uh, so uh, uh, my sister, how are you? How's everything? Ah, uh, you are blessed. Amen. So you came here to buy something? Yes, sir. Good of you. Ah, uh, are your children? We are good, 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 good. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Ah, uh, all right, thank you, my brother. Ah, daddy, thank you, sir. Please. Ah, 
Wow. You are blessed. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You are blessed. Hey, Amen. Go on with promote. Hey, thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you. We really appreciate it, sir. Thank you so much, madam. Bye bye, sir. Bye bye. Huh. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Sorry. But my sister, how did it happen? In fact, I can't say precisely. As we were coming home yesterday, we decided to buy some parcel at the shopping mall. In fact, I'm tired. Who did you come back? We met a couple there. Couple? Yes. Are they from our church? Sister Labake that was held by the Spirit of God during our last revival. Oh, the woman that was manifesting our revival. Ah, I can't what, say. what did she do to you? She has been delivered. I don't know. I can't say. I went to the mall only to come back giving gift to my dear. Gift? What type of gift? Just free gift. Yes, yeah. Free gift of Greek. I can now understand. No. Mm. Daddy, mm? it is just a free gift. Mm. Not Greek materials. Mm. It's just an ordinary profession mm. from that shopping mall. Mm. In fact, Daddy, my husband was carrying it in his hand mm. before he suddenly collapsed and fell down on the ground. Mm. Mm. And he's carrying the gift when he fell. Mm. But you should have called us immediately. <coughs> Daddy, I was praying. In fact, we were praying together. And I prophesied throughout that night. But, Daddy, when I discovered things are getting worse, I decided to call you, sir. Hmm. Yes. <coughs> she needs to exercise faith. By what you taught us. But uh, as it is now, it's like it's getting too late. I don't know. Well, devil is a liar. We will continue praying. And we are going to love last. Amen. Amen. Let's go and see. Have mercy. Oh! We must be our brother's keeper. We all know how relevant the King Bamdele is in this mission. And we should not allow the devil to take advantages of him in any way. Hmm. Uh, sir, I suggest we take him to the hospital and uh, support it with fervent prayers. Have you? Yeah. You're right, sir. Uh, I also want to suggest that uh, we should ensure that his wife actually carries his family members along yes. in anything we decide to do, sir. Yes, yes, I think we are talking. And uh, we should not be weary in prayer to God for him. We shall take to the to your peace and do advice. So no problem. Shall we pray? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ah, you see, Psalm 16 verse 1 says, Let God arise. And let his enemy be scattered. Yes, sir. Every enemy is open. The Kindele, Lord, scatter them. Shall we go pray? Shall we go pray? Scatter them. 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 Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Ha, madam, you are welcome. What is the news now? In fact, I am tired. The doctor said there is nothing medically wrong with him. And yet, he said conditions still getting worse. They're not is in control. Amen. That is what I said for you so that we can fire together than the devil. Yes. I think I want to go and see his parents first. Ah, no, not tonight. Join us in this prayer. Oh, no, in case of unexpected, sir. Ah, don't worry, we are going to call the Father for Mighty God yes, yes. to destabilize the kingdom of darkness. Yes, so begin to shut fire now. Fire! Fire! Holy Ghost! Fire! Holy Ghost! Fire! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost fire! 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 Holy Ghost fire!
no! Max is no! Why? I'm losing my patience. And I'm no longer comfortable with this man called Bamdele. What shall we do to him now? Most noble queen of the marine coast. Let's kill him once and for all. No. I was wounded three consecutive times the last time I attacked him. <laughs> the man is a firebrand. But there should be another way of handling him. Because if, if he continues this way, he will subdue this territory and put us under permanent silence. I've carried out a personal research on him. I have found out his weakness. One of you will be sent out with bullets to eat his weakness. Then we will subdue him and strike him. Hmm. Noble Queen, I will be glad if you can send me. I will be very happy. I can also go. Moses! I would send you. Go right away. My brother, no problem. Yes, uh, church is working on that. Okay, sir. So the admission will be okay. No, no problem. Thank you, sir. Let's continue praying, eh? Thank you, sir. You are blessed. Pastor. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, you my so sister. Ah. Sister. Of this Sunday, my sister. I How are you? Fine. Ah, How's sir? everything? Um, uh, bro. Yes, sir. Um, we shall talk about that on Wednesday. Ah, uh, I don't want to take too much of your time. Ah. Uh, okay. okay, sir. Regards to that. Thank you, sir. Oh, happy Sunday, my, my sister. Friend. How are you? Oh, what can I do? Don't worry. You don't want to remove your eyes. Okay. I just feel like holding it. Very soft. No problem. Uh, what can I do for you? Sir, I need your prayer. Yeah. Yes, sir. I just bought a home appliance. Okay. And the Spirit of God keeps telling me to call someone to anoint it for me before mm. you do it. Ah, wow. Now, which appliance is that? Just washing machine. Washing machine? Yes, sir. Okay, no problem. Just give me a few minutes. No eh, please. Huh? Okay, I'm going to wait. Oh my God. Oh, I wish this lady is my wife. Very clean, very beautiful. But I hope I have not seen in that. I told my pastor that the Lord led me to a man. You have not seen? You are actually on the journey to the next level in your destiny. The Lord is guiding you. You are to do whatever this lady wants for her because the way of the Lord is far from man. I am the Lord. Peace be with you. Uh, what is it? Okay. Actually, I didn't buy any machine. Eh? But <laughs> there is this my left breast. Mm. But yes, that is giving me problem. But I'm ashamed to talk about it openly in the church. Which kind of problem is that? Ah, thank you so much. I'm always feeling a kind of funny sensation inside it. Mm. So, and the spirit of the Lord led it into my mind to tell you that if you can put your hand on it, that is lay your hand on it directly and pray ah. for me, the bonus sensation will stop. Um, the spirit of God is one. Oh it's my okay, God. no problem. Thank you, Jesus. No problem. Thank you, Jesus. I will pray for you. Okay, sir. <laughs> sir. I will pray for you. Okay. Um. Uh, mm. Okay, sir. Let me bring it out directly. Uh, yes. So that the anointing can sing yeah, yeah. very well. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Um. Uh, let me go inside there and pray for you. Ah, uh, that would be better. Uh. Uh. The seed has been sown and it shall germinate in due course. Wow, bravo! Everyone, well done! Moses, 
Good job. Well done. Marxist, 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 You shall proceed to the next level. Now make them see you. Make them see your zeal for God and bring him down. Go. Go. Let's finish him before they are ready to rescue him. Let's take his soul and finish him once and for all. Doctor, how far now? Uh, well, <clears throat> the sudden recovery to this stage is beyond medical expression. Yeah, that's miracle! God is at work! Yeah, I believe. And I pray that God will perfect the work he has started in him. Amen. Uh, because our test reveals that he has lost his sight completely. Oh my God! Also partially paralyzed in the right hand and leg. Oh my god! <laughs> no! Doctor, no! You need right hand and right leg! Paralyzed? Yeah. Doctor, please can this thing be corrected? No! Um, no I hope so. Because <laughs> like said, it's just the right hand and leg. It has not affected the brain completely. So, I hope with time he may improve if he enjoys good care. <laughs> Madam, Madam, <laughs> Madam, you need to brace up. You see, like I said, what I met here this morning is beyond medical expression. So what you need to do now is to intensify in your prayers for him. Because you got another level of miracle in your call. So praise your I'm, I'm sir. I'm sorry. You may have to excuse me. I have to attend to my vacation there. Oh. Oh my god. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Huh? <laughs> mm. God, you are faithful. You are giving me a successor. Hallelujah. Ah. Hallelujah. to go home, Lord, I can see that the future is right. Thank you for the real gift of man like Bamdele. <laughs> Father, please have mercy. Perfect your miracle in his life.
Dear, are, are you back? Why, why are you crying? Dear, stop this. Stop, stop this. Eh? Let life continue. Stop this. Stop it. Stop, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, no, it is not okay. No, it is not okay. Let me cry. I'm cause of this. No, let me cry. It is not your fault. Please. It is not your fault. And the place in your heart. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. Yeah. Find a place in your heart. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I've made you to lose everything. Stop. No, no. It's okay. Stop. I refuse you. Just give it your responsibility to another minister. <laughs> This is too far. I am sorry. Find a place. Find a place. You are good, God. You are good. It's all my fault. It's all my fault! It's okay. No! Let me cry! This is my fault! It is not your fault! Oh, no! It is no, mine! No! It is mine! No! <laughs> hmm. But I thank God. I thank God. God had mercy on me. There are some people that have aborted destinies in life. Some have killed as an arm robbers. That is how it always be, even to some ministers, young men and women, if they are not careful, they will just find themselves in regret. God can still have mercy on you if you come to his throne today. Surrender yourself to him and he will draw you to himself. And make sure you are walking in his way. And the mercy of God will prevail over the judgment of devil over your life.
Yeah.